Okay, today I'm going to be playing a little bit of Lanterna module using the Ice Blink engine, which is an, an alpha build version 5 at the moment. And in Lanterna you, you get to choose your starting character and then there's the option of additional characters joining your party at a later time. I'm going to use one of the, the pre-made characters here. Go with this one, a fighter, human male. Sixty years have passed since the great battle for Charnia. The followers of Zorn grew in numbers and began to hunt down all the Charnians who remained in the area. Many were lost, but a number escaped through the great mountains and settled in the eastern lands. Your father and a large group journeyed back to Charnia, but were never heard from again. That was ten years ago. Recently, your older brother and a smaller or a small group left in search of clues to your father's whereabouts or demise. It has been a month and no word. You have decided to take a small group of two or three in search of your brother. Hopefully the small group size will go undetected by the recently growing threat of Zorn's minions. There you are, Rillian. Your sister told me of your plans. Please tell me it is not true. Mother, you should be in bed. You are in no condition to be walking around. I wish you wouldn't leave. I can't lose another child. Ian is fine, I'm sure of it. Just get some rest, Mother. Jaden, take care of Mother. I'll be back soon. I understand. Everything will be fine, Mother. Rillian will be safe, and he will find Ian and bring him back home. Please be safe. I can't bear to lose you now that your brother and your father have not returned. Don't worry, Mother. I'll take a couple friends with me, and we'll find Ian. May those be with you. And your journal has been updated with Begin Search. So let's have a look at our journal here. The Search for Ian. You have decided to wait no longer for your brother to return. Traveling in a small group is the only way to avoid attention of enemies. Journey to Langdale and beyond to find your brother. Okay. So let's look at our inventory. We have nothing in our inventory. So we'll go ahead and walk around, talk to our sister here. I'm sure Ian is safe and just delayed. Be safe, brother. So let's go upstairs to our bedroom and collect some of our items here, a short sword and a regenerate light spells potion. Dagger and a heal light wounds. Okay, so let's go ahead and equip our short sword. So I can see we got a walking animation, but it's a placeholder. It's got a stick figure for some of the animation. You see, there's this floating thing, just floating donut, kind of showing off uh, some of the capabilities of the engine, being able to do animation props. And I see here we've got a green highlight area showing where there's um, possible do doors. So let's go into this building. Got here. Hello there, Rillian. It has been a while since I saw you last. Traffic has been slow lately. The road to Langdale has been too dangerous. I hear there have been attacks on caravans by kobolds, orcs, goblins, and such. That's true. I don't know what is going on. My brother Yan and a few others left a month ago to search for clues of our father's disappearance. I haven't heard from him since he left. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sure he will be okay. 
He is very skilled in the wilderness, you know. I know Ben, but I am worried and I am planning on putting together a small search party. So Ben must be the dog, talking dog. Be careful if you find that the road to Langdale is safe. Would you let me know? I'll let you know what I find. You might want to have a look at some of my items for your journey. Yes, I'd like to see what you have for sale. Okay, so we open up a shop here. So I have a regenerate light spell, I have a dagger, and I have this heal light wounds. And you can see here, you got little images there and some description of the items as well. Let's see, so it looks like my character has leather armor and short sword. And let's see, what do we have? We've got 40 gold. Um, I'm going to hold off and buy anything at this moment. So we can kind of walk around here. This looks like an inn. Got some people here. Hello, Rillian. Did you come to see my brother Baron's band practice? Actually, I'm heading out to find my brother Ian. I heard that he hasn't returned. Is there anything I can do to help? I'm not sure, Balin. May I join you in your search? Your father was a good friend of mine, you know, and I am sure he would want me to join you. I could sure use your skills in healing and your company, Balin. Should we head out? Let's go. Okay, so it looks like we've added a character to our party. This is Balin. He's a dwarf, male cleric, level 1, 1500 XP. And he, as a cleric, he has minor healing and minor regeneration. So regeneration looks like it's a spell that lasts for three rounds and it gives the PC two hit points of healing per round. He's got strength 14, constitution 14, wisdom 14. All right. What do we got here? Good day, Rillian. Are you excited to see my sister's band performing here in Brinsby? I hear that Lisa has found a few great musicians to join her. They are very good. I hear that you are leaving soon to find Ian. I'm leaving right away. I just need to finish a few preparations. May I join you on your search? My gift with magic may be of use. I could sure use your company and the help. It might be very dangerous. You know me, I love danger. Of course, I knew that would get your attention. Let's go. Okay, so here we got Miki, an elf female wizard. He's got flame fingers, mage bolt, and minor regeneration. At first level, dexterity 16, intelligence 16, pretty good. Let's see if anybody came with any items here. Doesn't look like it. Uh, Let's see. Let's, let's go see if we can purchase a few items. Hello again, Rillian. Would you like to buy or sell any items? Yes, I'd like to see what you have for sale. So I'm going to I'm going to buy a Oh, a sling. And I'm going to buy a mace, leather boots, large shield. Yeah, I guess a short sword. Looks like it's the best we've got here. Hand axe. A mace is a 1d6, hand axe is a 1d6, short sword is 1d6, so I'll go with that. 
17 gold left. Um, ropes gives a little bit of armor class. Let's buy that. And leather armor, we can't afford that, but maybe we can sell one of these items. Let's go ahead and sell that. And let's buy leather armor. We still have 22 left over. I think that's good. Well, let's buy a large shield. We don't have enough. Leather boots, helmet, robes, large shield. I guess we'll go ahead and that'll work for now. So let's equip our characters here. Leather armor, short sword. Let's do a short sword and leather armor. Let's see if we can do a robe and a sling. Okay, now we can switch between our characters to be the party leader by right clicking on them. Or we can left click to see our... Also if you click on your character's image here you could change out their image if you wanted to try some something different. Click on your token if you want to try a different token as well. Okay, let's go ahead and head on out. I'm going to make Balin the party leader. Got a cave here, it looks like. What do we got here? How are you doing this glorious day, Balin? A little anxious, Fledge. I'm preparing to leave and search for Ian. I can't wait any longer. Yes, I figured as much. I, shall I fetch my lethal sword? Who said you were invited? And if you were invited, shouldn't you stick with your bow and not the sword? You underestimate the heart of this badger, my young friend. I can hold my own in a sword fight. Alright, you may join, but do bring your bow. We could probably have you open locks and disarm traps, but leave the sword fighting to others. Splendid, let's go. Alright, so we got a new character here. This Fledge is a badger, and he is a male thief, level 1. So the traits, he's got dodge and backstab. So backstab, you need to be facing 180 degrees, so you have to be behind the creature. And no spells. 16 dexterity. So let's see if he has any items that came with him. Nope. I guess he didn't grab his bow that he talked about. And we probably don't have anything I guess we can give him a dagger. So he wanted to use his sword anyways. We'll let him use that. So we'll go ahead and take a pause here and hit quick save. Hit letter Q. That'll save the game. Okay, let's see now. Let's go ahead over here. We're on a different map now. Let's follow the trail. Please help me. What has happened here? We were attacked by some horrid creatures. They killed my friend and carried the others away. That is horrible. You look injured. We need to get you to Brinsby as soon as possible. I will be okay. I can make it there on my own. Will you please try and find my friends and free them if possible? We shall try. Thank you, friends. Take care. So it looked like she left. Her caravan must have been ambushed. What do we got here? Well, Balin, which way should we go? The 
Kinston Mountain Pass has always been shorter. We want to find out. Let's go ahead and take the mountain pass. The Kinston Mountain Pass has always been shorter on foot, but it may be too dangerous now. It has to be safer than going around the mountain with all those kobolds. Well, it will be shorter. The sooner we can find my brother, the better. Sounds good. Over the mountain we go. I guess we could always come back and backtrack. Do the other one. So we got a map that's kind of a tile type map, but it's got a little bit of variances to it as well. So it looks like there's a cave here. We can go check that out. Uh, it's like a shield and an abandoned fire. And it looks like we've come across an encounter here. So we've got the grid turned on. We can turn it off. The red square show where you cannot walk. I like turning the facing on so you can see what direction the characters are facing. You can also turn on the range and when you highlight something it tells you how this purple is the attack range and the orange is how far it can move. So it looks like these creatures can move three squares. But I'll turn that off for now. Okay. So we'll begin combat. It looks like Fledge gets to go first. Since he is a thief, I'm gonna kind of move him to the side and see if I can hide in shadows here. Try. Fledge enters stealth mode successfully. Okay, so he's hidden, they won't attack him. But I'm going to try to move behind and do a backstab. So let's go ahead and swing and attack. Boom, boom. That was interesting. So it looks like really an attacks a fighter beetle and hits for three. Oh, you know what? This is my. <laughs> so he's got hit points of 80. This is my test guy. So he's a lot more powerful. He's level 8. That'll be fun. Um, so he got two attacks. Killed the fire beetle. And then we got Balin here. We'll attack. And let's gonna do a range attack. You can hit the letter R or you can click on the button. I'll just hit the letter R. And we're gonna use our sling. And she looks like she missed. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, Oops, attack of opportunity, but I'm going to try and kill one and hit a cleave on the other. Kill both of them. Okay, we didn't find anything. Looks like there may be something here, though. There is a large shield. So it looks like we found a large shield. Let's see if we can give that. Balin. So now he's got a shield and a sword. So we're going to go through the mountain pass here. Looks like there might be a cave here. And there it is. And it looks like we are being attacked by some spiders. So let's try doing a ranged attack. And he's going to attack. Boom, boom, and a cleave. Two hits and a cleave. One, two, three. Two, three, attack. 
All right, so let's go ahead and just do a ranged attack here. Looks like we hit for zero, not very good. And then attack.